organic evolution kipindi cha tano Darwin's theory kwenye kipindi kilichopita tuko naangalia kuhusu lamakism au lamak theory of organic evolution na kwenye kipindi hicho tunaangalia kuhusu Darwin's theory ni mwendelezo wa theories of organic evolution theory ya kwanza ndio hiyo lamak au lamakism na theory ya pili ndio hii Darwin's Uh, au Darwinism kwa jina jingine. Kwa tunasema kwamba kulikuwa na mwanasayansi anaitwa Charles Darwin. Charles Erasmus Darwin was the first person to explain organic evolution more scientifically. Kwa hiyo huyo alielezeaje using his ship. His ship huyo alikuwa na ana ana hii meli alizunguka nayo karibia dunia nzima. Yaani maeneo mengi ya dunia so Darwin made a five years journey in various parts of the world alizunguka nayo miaka mitano karibia dunia nzima so during this five year voyage he made several observations and he collected different specimen of plants and animals he found that ko ali aliona vitu mbalimbali na alikusanya species mbalimbali na specimen mbalimbali za plant and animal alichokiona nini katika hizo plant na animals mbalimbali jambo la kwanza aliona ni organisms of Iceland appeared related to the organisms of the mainland manake organism wale kwa naonekana kwenye Iceland Iceland ni eneo ambalo liko uh, surrounded by water let's say kama kama vile kisiwa walikuwa wanafanana na organism wa nchi kavu kabisa hasa kisiwa manake ni nchi kavu ambayo iko katikati ya bahari wanafanana na organism wa nchi kavu kabisa lakini pia organisms of a given area appeared related to fossil of that area manake organism wa eneo fulani walikuwa wanafanana na fossil fossil ni kama mifupa ile ya viumbe wa zamani ni fossil ni, ni mifupa ambayo ilibakia mabaki ya mifupa ya viumbe wa zamani hasa organism walioko hapo walikuwa wanafanana related sio exactly the same related lakini ya tatu organisms of given area with a certain climatic conditions appeared related to the organisms in another area of the same climatic condition manake organism wale kwa naonekana labda kwenye maeneo ya joto na kuta kama kuna wanyama fulani kwenye joto mahali fulani kwa ukienda sehemu nyingine ya joto tena unakuta wanyama ambao wanafanana na wale kwa hivyo ndo vitu vitatu kwanza organism of the iceland appeared related to the organism of mainland period organism of the given area appeared related to the fossils of that area third organisms of a given area with a certain climatic conditions appeared related to the organisms in another area of the same climatic condition these observations or findings suggested to darwin the relatedness of organism and in 1859 he put forward his theory of organic evolution in the form of a booklet entitled origin of species by means of natural selection coach kitab chake uh, alikita kwamba ni origin of species by means of natural selection. Again some this theory is also known as survival of the fittest. Fittest survival of the fittest. It contains a massive evidence to support organic evolution. Kwa hiyo ni kama dawa theory aliweka hapo vitu kuna natural selection na hizo mambo ya survival of fittest tutaenda kuona huko mbele. Lakini alikuwa anazungumzia tu vitu kwamba kwa nini hiyo natural selection ni na survival of the fittest in nini sasa so, so observation and deduction from the darwin's theory observation and deduction from the darwin's theory kwa hiyo kwanza mechanism of darwin's theory of organic evolution mechanism ya darwin's theory of organic evolution inasema nini au vile inavyosema vile tukaitoka the mechanism vile tengenezeka neje yani ilikuwaje kwaje mpaka ikatokea according to darwin individual within a population tend to reproduce more offspring than an environment can support kwa hiyo kwa mfano binadamu wanaweza kukaa wanazaa watoto wengi kuliko mazingira yanavyoruhusu kwa hiyo sasa manake lazima pale kitakachotokea ni kwamba kwa sababu watoto wamezaliwa wengi kuliko mazingira yanavyoruhusu manake watoto wale ambao wanaweza wakapambana kupata vitu ya kuwezesha kuishi ndio watakaoishi wengine watakao baki manaka rafaji watakufa hiyo ndo according to darwin sio tu human being ni organism yote 
So according to Darwin, individuals within a population tend to reproduce more offspring than the environment can support. However, the number of individuals in a population remain fairly constant. Kwanina remain fairly constant kusabu. This is because many individuals fail to survive to reproduce uh, to maturity due to struggle for existence within a population. Kwa kuna kitu tunakita struggle for existence. Struggle for existence manage. Viumbe wanakona pambana kuishi. Mapambano yani. Mapambano. Kwa kati kupambana kuna wengine wanashindwa wanakufa. Wengine ndo wanasurvive. However, wanakuwa reproduced ni wengi. Kwa wanao tingenezo wanakuwa new generation wanakuwa ni wengi. Lakini kwa sabi ya mapambano wengine wanakufa. Hawezi kufikia age ya maturity. Kwa wanakuwa kutakomba organism ni kuma nabakia vile vile. So during struggle for existence, ayo mapambano ya kuishi, struggle for existence, those individuals having favorable variations adapt to the environment better and survive, but the less adapted individuals having any favorable variations fail to survive to, to the productive maturity and therefore die. Kwa utunafu kuna fanya struggle for existence, organism mbao wanawezo wa kuadapt, yani kuandago mechanism, kuadapt ni kama vile sa kuendana na mazingila yae au organism wataishi. Watakao shindo kwa adapti basi wata, watakufa. Watakufa kabisa ni watakufa. So, he regarded this as survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest. Manake wanaishi wale ambao wamefiti mazingila. Wameza kuendana na mazingila. Kwa struggle for existence ni kupambana kuishi kwenye mazingila. Lakini survival of the fittest manaki katika kupambana katika struggle for existence tunatokea organism wanatokea organism ambao wanaweza kuishi kwenye mazingira tunaita survival of the fittest thus the nature selected individual which are better adapted and eliminates those which are poorly adapted in the environment hiyo tunaita natural selection kwamba nature yani yale mazingira tu yale yalichagua organism ambao wako better adapted wanaweza kuishi pale waishi Hafu wale ambao poor are adapted, ambao hawako, hawana adaptations za kuishi pale, uwafe. Iyo tunaita natural selection. Kwaona wana, tunanza na struggle for existence, organizimu wana pambana kuishi. Unaona, katika struggle for existence, wako ambao wataweza kuadapti wataishi, wengine ambao wataweza kuadapti watakufa. Iyo tunaita ge, survival of the fittest, wana survival wana wanaweza kuishi. Lakini wakuti mundu wakoba, ni nature ya mazingira, dedo sabisha wanaweza kuadapti waishi, wasioweza wafu. That is theory of natural selection. So the selected individual continue to survive to, repro to reproductive potential, continue to reproduce, passing on their favor variation or traits. Eventually, new species are formed. This is termed as formation of new species by natural selection. Well, manake wale organismo mbao mazingira ali wachagua wendele kuishi, wanendea kuishi, wanazaliana, na wanafu zidi ku fanya reproduction uh, species to species maana generation to generation generation to generation then at the end of the day hapo sio species to species ni generation to generation at the end of the day new species in our lives cause it is species tunaenda kuona uko mbele kuna kitu tunakita speciation zile species zinatokana by the process of natural selection therefore the origin of species by means of natural selection is summarized in three observations and two deductions as follows. Original species by means of natural selection is summarized in two observations two deductions as follows. Kwa ngoja tukazione hizo observation and deductions. So kwenye hizo observation zinazo elezea kuhusu origin of species by natural selection. Observation ya kwanza ni over reproduction. Darwin observed that organism in the environment tend to reproduce more than the environment can support or can carry. Yo tumesha ilezea kumanzo ni kwamba watoto wanakuwa wengi wakati environment zinakuwa ziwezi kwa support. Kwa hiyo bada hapo nini kitatokea manake wale ambao wameshindwa kuishi watakufa. Lakini observation ya pili uh, ni size of the population. Kwamba in the second observation, Darwin observed that despite of the large number of offspring produced, the size of the population remained fairly constant. He later suggested that there must be something which control the population. Kwa hiyo observation ya kwanza ni population ya watoto inakuwa kubwa ya offspring. Observation ya pili size ya population inabakia vile vile haibadiliki. Ah, Darwin lazima akaje na kitu kwamba ah, kutakuwa kuna kitu kinachopunguza population basi. Nini kinapunguza population mpaka inaonyesha kama haibadiliki? So 
uh, akaja na deduction deduction ya kwanza ni struggle for existence struggle for existence due to above observation Darwin deduced that the large number of organism which are produced in the control by the limited resource in the environment the presence of large number of offspring lead to compensation so hiyo inaitwa intraspecific intraspecific or interspecific competition kuna hizo types za competition lakini kwa levo yenu hamtasoma sana lakini kuna intra specific na inter intra specific na gani competition within species within organism of the same species while inter means organism of the different species but they compete kwa mfano unaweza kukuta labda jirafa anakula glasses and then na uh, mnyama mwingine tena labda uh, labda mnyama mwingine naye anakula glasses labda swala kwa kwa sababu wale wanyama wawili ni species tofauti na wanakula glasses so they compete for glasses and that is inter specific lakini intra ni kama vile ni wako swala peke yao lakini wanapambana kwa ajili ya nyasi so that is intra and inter specific uh inter specific competition against limited resources such as food water air and light kwa hiyo inaanisha kwamba organism wana competition hapo wanakuwa na competition uh, wana kwa wana competition against limited resources wanakuwa na shindana struggle for existence wana shindana kuishi in this case such organisms are always under struggle for existence wana shindana kuishi coexist every organism struggles but only those with better adaptive features struggle better and obtain the resources and thus exist while those which fail to struggle perish away therefore it is, it is through this way although organism tend to reproduce over but their number remain fairly constant kwa hiyo organism wote wana wana wana, wana reproduce na wote wana struggle lakini only those which are better adapted ndio wana survive kwa wengine ambao watashinda ku survive ambao watashinda ku survive manake au watakufa wata wakishakufa hiyo ndio deduction ya kwanza Darwin akasema hii ndio itakuwa basi itakuwa ndio sababu ya kusema kwamba ndio maana organism wanabaki vivi lakini observation ya tatu ni kwamba variation among species species wanatofautiana at the third observation was about variation there is a considerable variation within a population Darwin found that no two species were identical in sexually reproducing individuals there is always variation some have favorable variation and other unfavorable variations maana ke baadhi walikuwa wana adaptation za kuwezesha kuishi wengine wana, wana adaptation ambazo haziwezeshi yani hawana adaptation za kuwezesha kuishi kwa wal, wali conclude ni kutoka kwenye hiyo wakaona wakaja na deduction huyu Darwin akaja na deduction ya mbili ambayo ni survival of the fittest survival of the fittest kwamba kutoka na variation among the species wale ambao wako better adapted wao ndio wamekuwa fitted to survive then wale ambao wako poorly adapted wale hawajawa fitted to so survival of the fittest from the fact that individual vary from each other in the environment now in the due that individual who inherit beneficial traits are better adapted to the environment and are able to survive so therefore only fit individual survive in the struggle for existence but those which inherit harmful traits or poor traits are poorly adapted to the environment and they are eliminated by nature they, they fail to survive in order to obtain environmental limited resource darwin called this a survival of the fittest that fit or individual survive while and fit or weak ones die or perish ko survival of the fittest manake ni yule ambaye ana adaptation au anaweza kuishi kwenye mazingira ndio anaishi na wengine ambao hawana adaptation au hawawezi kuishi kwenye mazingira wanakufa kwa wakisha kufa hiyo inatokana nini na variation wametofautiana kwenye adaptation therefore the observation and deductions made by darwin enable him to arrive to the theory of natural selection according to darwin it was through natural selection that led the formation of new species hence organic evolution. Kwa hiyo Darwin yeye aliamini sana natural selection, natural selection. Natural selection ilianza wapi? Ilianza kwenye uh, kwenye uh, kwenye struggle for existence. Struggle for existence then ikafuata survival of the fittest. Baada hapo tunaenda kwenye nini? Kwenye natural selection. Kwa hiyo naishi hapa kipindi hichi. Kipindi kijacho tutaendelea kuelezea hiyo uh, natural selection jinsi gani ambavyo inapelekea organism waweze kuishi.
according to Darwin. Kwa hiyo hii ni session ya kwanza ya Darwin's theory. Session ya pili ya Darwin's theory itakuja kwenye kipindi cha sita cha organic evolution. Our subscribe channel pia share link ya kipindi hichi na vipindi vingine. Tunaendelea kuisha masomo ya biology, chemistry, physics na mathematics kwa level na pia hata kwa advanced level. Kwa hiyo stay with me. Thank you everybody. Let's wish you nice studies.